is by having special interests and lobbyists having direct interest, uh, uh, access to our elected officials for the purpose of selling weapons and making money and then uh, uh, to cut out companies going back and making those campaign contributions that they need so bad. We sent and sent 24 letters out to the State Department, the DOJ, and uh, 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 five sitting congressmen. They did not answer the questions. They did not address those questions. And the only thing that we got back from the congressman was a reform letter requesting campaign contributions. They did not address the questions, did not even make reference to what was in the body of the letters uh, that was sent out. It shows they're Sometimes totally disconnected from reality, and their staffers didn't even show it to them. A very serious whistleblower letter. Let's expand on this now, then. Clearly, uh, they don't want your questions to be looked at, so they want to question you, send you the subpoena that's basically a gag order. Uh, but undoubtedly, the Justice Department is A, listening now and watching now, and B, will be creating a transcript later for Eric Holder and Hillary Clinton to read. This is the kind of stuff that will come across their desk. So there's a good chance one of these people will read it. That's obviously why you told Hillary this isn't personal, communicating to their gangster group. Uh, in words that they'll understand. What do you want to say to the uh, NSA mop-up crew and the rest of them that are listening to this? Well, I, I, I would just take it out of politics. I would, uh, these people, there's good people in the NSA, but there's also gatekeepers, political gatekeepers that have been put into all these organizations, the mainstream media and every place else. So the good people that are actually working in our government and working for the people, can't do their job. In other words, this has been a slow process of eroding. I call it America's slow coup. In other words, by infiltrating uh, political cronies into strategic positions to be gatekeepers and suck up any derogatory information like gun running, international gun running, and other matters, and keep that from hitting on the mainstream media. Mainstream media is infiltrated. Uh, with all kinds of uh, government gatekeepers to stop information from getting to the American people so that they can make wise decisions. So I saw with what I, my background and my experience, I can see it happen. We're losing our freedom by small degrees, gradually, gradually, gradually. And by the way, Mr. Plumley, uh, they are hiding the evil in plain view. They announced last year of the, quote, legalization of CIA and others inside media putting out psyops and disinformation. Now, that's always been going on. There's the headline, U.S. repeals propaganda ban, spreads government-made news to Americans. But it's not even government propaganda. It's criminal networks that have shut off the eyes and ears of even the government so they can get away with anything. My God, this is the biggest national security threat ever. The government has had a corporate fraudulent coup d'etat within it and these people are so greedy that john corzine's making 40 to 1 bets with other people's money at mf global and not getting in trouble that's an example of how ruthless they are only bernie madoff got in trouble because he stole money from other globalists the globalists have gotten to the point that they are literally above the law and are so dumb they thought they could arm Al-Qaeda publicly to blow up Christian churches and shoot down aircraft with missiles we gave them. They are not going to get away with this, Tosh. Well, the reason that they do that is that they have gone on a program through many different presidents, I would say, to sympathize the people so that we don't react. And then they can slide this through. In other words, what I'm saying, leave the people into a false sense of apathy. And apathy is what's destroying this country. Uh, it's just uh, people don't want to get involved. They don't want to know. I don't care. In other words, I love, you know, blah, 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 and all that. You, know, you, you hear it all the time. There's a lot of talk going out there. Everybody can define the problems that they got, but I've yet to hear any solid solutions. I've yet to see any of these organizations formulate a, a goal or a plan to actually make the changes. All I basically hear across the board is stating what the problem is. I guess to hear anyone state how... Well, I mean, I, I mean, I'll tell you the answer. Recognize that Holder came out and said, we need to brainwash the public. 
And that's what's going on is literal brainwashing. It, 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 it went on before Holder. This has been going on. No, I know, but it's coming to a head. It's kind of like termites Termites finally eat a house so much, a big wind comes along, it blows over. Well, our foundation is eroded, and we're about ready to fall, and they stick a fork in us because the American people are letting it happen, and we're about done. I agree. Here, here's, the, here's the Attorney General, Tosh. Here it is. We need to do this every day of the week and just really brainwash people into thinking about guns in a vastly different way. They are now on the news saying your children don't believe uh, that you're their parents. Uh, the state is, is the parent and uh, we can take your guns and world government's good. What would you call the ruling class, Tosh, as we go to break? What would you call this group of criminals? Just criminals? Uh, I call special interests uh, follow the money. I mean, this has been going on since. Uh, look, I was involved in the Iran Contra. I flew C 130s. In other words, I watched uh, people close, close commit suicide. I didn't watch it. I mean, you know, my friend. All right. Uh, El Coro, Marine Naval Air Station. Uh, gun. Uh, drugs. Going all over the place. No, I know. I've had family that saw that, too. T tell you what, stay right there. We're going to come right back to Tosh Plumley and your phone calls. Randy, Rodney. Uh, Lee, others. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. Americans, the Bundy Ranch disaster proved again that the feds think citizens like you are the enemy. The NSA was able to secretly steal the personal information off the phones of every person at the Bundy Ranch without them ever knowing. And they were able to access their address books as well, so now their friends are at risk. It's time to take your identity off the government's radar and learn how to protect yourself from government spying. Go to offgrididentity.com now to protect yourself. That's offgrididentity.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866 229 0927. That's 866 229 0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. Mypatriotsupply.com slash Alex. It's been said, those who control the food, control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. All right, we're going to go to your phone calls in this segment the next. I appreciate everybody holding to talk to Tosh Plumley. I'm Alex Jones, your host. And listen, we take a risk having people on the air like this. I'm not trying to toot our horn or anything, but if I told you all the stories and stuff I've seen, heard, the threats, the attacks, both physical and economic, there's a bunch of them going on right now that we've uncovered. It's just you just learn to deal with it and turn it over to God. Because here's the deal. 
We're going to have Tosh back on very soon to do a whole hour with us, not on this subject, but on all the things he saw in Iran-Contra and so much more. I know a lot of that's been gagged and sealed, but he is one of the main witnesses. All I know is uh, they recruited heavily out of Texas, different government agencies, mainly out of the Army. So I've had quite a few family that did different stuff, some of it pretty senior and, and on the muscle end of things. And they all just said the government's totally evil and does horrible things. There's on the top, there's a light side and there's a dark side. And there's good people in government that are trying to do good, but th they're less and less. And Tosh, I want to go to phone calls, but would you agree, though, that it's getting worse and that the light side in government is getting smaller? Or is it that the good guys just aren't able to get around the NSA now and the courts are so corrupt? I mean, or, or, or have things always been like this? No, no, in my opinion, it's getting worse. That's one reason I, I, I did engage myself and got active in this, uh, if you want to call me as a whistleblower or whatever, because uh, as over the years, as I saw this heading in that the direction, eroding the Constitution, losing our freedoms, watching the, uh, the, the appointments of the Supreme Court, looking at the agenda, the secret agenda that these administrations have, watching the hundreds and hundreds of lobbyists have access to the White House, I can't even talk to my elected representatives because they won't talk to me unless I give them a whole bunch of wad of money. Uh, when I started seeing all this kind of thing, man, America is going down the chute, man. We're, we're losing our freedom. By the way, I've talked to you I, off the air and your phone's clear, and you were clear during the break, and now you're distorted. They're definitely messing with your phone on purpose right now. Usually I say oh, it's I know. not this, the, this happened yesterday on Hagman and Hagman, too. Same thing. Now let's oh, go ahead and talk to Randy. Uh, Randy in Oklahoma, you're on the air. Go ahead. Go ahead, Randy. You got a question? Yeah. Oh, yeah, talking to your phone. Go ahead. Yeah, are you there? Damn right I am, brother. Yeah, we're here. I've been here the last three times. I got to move on. Tell Randy thanks. Rodney in North Carolina, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah. How you doing, Alex? I'm all right. Go ahead. You got a question? Yeah. All right. We know this government's treasonous. They're doing everything they can to go against the people itself. The Benghazi thing alone, I seen the video as the attack was going on live on Al Jazeera TV over there. I posted the video on Facebook and it got removed and I was told I was in violation of content. Now, how do we remove this government and put in a whole new government? Okay, if that's your question, I have a simple answer for you. I wish I so far to really screw things up as far as the political or ramifications that are going on in this country. We need the young generation to get out here and get active. Study. Go out here. Find the answers for yourself. Do your own research and come to your own conclusion. We could also have oh. JAG military courts start to investigate the criminality, but they'd be arrested immediately. But maybe we need that flashpoint to happen. Uh, you know, Grand well, juries indicting. Go ahead. Okay. This has not happened overnight. This, this, this situation where the, where the, the corruption in this government has been a slow, creeping process through four or five administrations. Um, we've watched it. But here's the point. If the American people had been uh, uh, at least interested in what was going on in the halls of D.C. through our Congress and our Senate and our POTUS, if we just listened to what was going on rather than being diverted out here uh, trying to make a living or whatever the hell we uh, are watching back. No, that's why they want us poor, is, is so we're too busy. Stay there. We're going to make it one minute. The more your phone calls, stay with us. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. The globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding and making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. It is more important than ever to realize 
realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the info war to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv. Thank you.